Well, in New Zealand, there are about 50,000 people living with the experience of uh, having a stroke, and there are 5,000 new strokes each year. It's a leading cause of adult disability worldwide. Um, the consequences of stroke can be uh, a temporary disability or uh, requiring long-term uh, care and a complete loss of independence. So this has an enormous uh, social cost. Well, a stroke is when a part of the brain loses its blood supply due to a blockage or a leak, and the cells in that area start to die within minutes. No two strokes are alike, the effects depend on which part of the brain has been affected, and recovery depends on the ability of the surviving parts of the brain to take over those functions that have been lost. The new biomarkers we're developing now um, are based on magnetic resonance imaging techniques and also magnetic stimulation techniques. Um, both of these tell us both the uh, areas of the brain that have been um, affected and are also still capable of contributing to recovery. By finding ways of making the brain more responsive to therapy, we're hoping to improve uh, people's capacity for recovery and shorten their recovery times. At the Centre for Brain Research, we're investigating a number of ways to prime the brain for the best possible response to therapy. And these include non-invasive brain stimulation, different medications and different movement patterns. So priming increases the activity in the stroke affected side of the brain and then makes the brain more um, prepared for subsequent therapy um, and that therapy would be the more traditional rehabilitation involving such things as physiotherapy and occupational therapy. With our research, ultimately we'd like to put better tools in the hands of clinicians and therapists so that they can help their patients get back to as normal a life as possible after stroke.